Hi, boys and girls. This is the last Worldly Wise. Yay! Or, oh, but I saved the best for last. So get your Worldly Wise book out and look at page 224. It's just amazing. And if you look at page 224, you will see the title is A Mouse is Born. This is Wordly Wise 18. And of course, you are welcome to look at all of the other units that we didn't get around to. But this one is important to get to. So let's look at page 224. In 1927, Walt Disney worked in the movie business producing short animated cartoons. He had started his own film company in Los Angeles four years before, at the age of 21, with $500 borrowed from a relative. During those four years, his business provided him with a meager living. He worked hard on his films, struggling to pay off the debt. His cartoons were about a character called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. A film distributor in New York had been buying his films and renting them to movie houses. The distributor could make a big profit if a film was successful. Disney, on the other hand, was paid a fixed amount for each movie. He got no share of the profits. When the contract with the distributor came to an end, Walt Disney decided to go to New York with his wife Lily to negotiate a better deal for himself. At that meeting, the distributor not only declined all of Disney's proposals, but also told the young filmmaker that he would reduce the payments he was making for each cartoon. He knew very well that Disney had no money to buy lawyers to fight him in the courts. Even worse, the distributor boasted that he had secretly hired Disney's own artists to do the drawings for future Oswald movies. Shame on him. Disney was bitter and the distributor had betrayed him. But there was nothing he could do about it. He vowed never to sell another of his movies to anyone. He would rent them to distributors, of course, and in the future, though, he would retain ownership. Walt Disney was in a somber mood when he and Lily boarded the train for Los Angeles. During the long journey across the country, he decided to create a new character to take the place of Oswald. We all know who that is. After making a few marks on paper, he showed Lily a sketch of a mouse. Immediately, she noticed the likeness between her husband and the creatures he had drawn. Both had a look of harmless mischief. And if you look at a Google search a picture of Walt Disney, you might get see a little bit of a, a resemblance there. She was convinced that audience was, would love the little mouse with the happy face. She was dismayed, however, when her husband told her he planned to name it Mortimer. Can you believe we would have had Mortimer Mouse? That's even hard to say, isn't it? That just didn't sound right to her. What about Mickey? She suggested Mickey Mouse. As soon as he arrived in Los Angeles, Walt Disney went to work on the first Mickey Mouse cartoons. He had completed two and was working on Steamboat Willie, his third, when sound began to be added to the movies. Now, if we were in school, we would be watching Steamboat Willie. But you can Google search or search on YouTube and you can find the Steamboat Willie cartoon and you all need to watch it because that is such a major important part of your education is that you watch the original Steamboat Willie, the original Mickey Mouse cartoon. Make it happen. Disney promptly added a soundtrack. Oh, excuse me. Let me back up. Um, but -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Suddenly, silent movies were obsolete. They didn't have silent movies anymore. Disney promptly added a soundtrack to sound Steamboat Willie. The shrill voice of Mickey was supplied by Walt Disney himself. So when you watch Steamboat Willie, you are actually hearing Walt Disney's voice. Cool. 
When the movie opened in New York in September 1928, it was a sensation. Audiences roared with laughter at Mickey's hilarious adventures. Subsequent movies starring the lovable little mouse were equally successful at the box office. In just three years, Walt Disney's company was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And Mickey Mouse was famous. Isn't that wonderful? <sighs> Just love it. Just love it. Now, if we were at school, the other crucial part of your education in fifth grade is that you try your hand at drawing Mickey Mouse. Now, there are videos that you can Google search that says how to draw Mickey Mouse and that will show you step by step. So I've already gotten a few cards with some Mickey Mouses drawn on them and they're beautiful. But if you have not tried drawing your own Mickey Mouse, I challenge you to try it. Because I just don't think your fifth grade education would be complete unless you watch Steamboat Mill Willie and you practice drawing Mickey Mouse. Just saying, you've got to feel the love of the Mickey Mouse. I hope you enjoyed this final Wordly Wise. I'm a little sad, I have to say, but Mickey Mouse remains and will make us all happy. Bye. Have a magical day.